So we've got a company that makes tables and we spent a lot of costs in our first month. Now say we made a few tables and we now want to know how much did it cost us to make one of those tables. So first we defined our cost object. So we'll say our cost object is one table or one unit of production. So we want to know what did it cost us to make one of those tables. So we'll find that some costs are easier to assign or trace to the cost object or the table and others are more difficult or even impossible. So just a few terms here. So to trace a cost is the same as to assign a cost or attach a cost or even allocate a cost to a cost object. So it's the same word. So let's see which of the costs can we trace directly to the table. So the first example is the wood. So we can actually observe or see how much wood we use for each table. And if we know what the wood costs us, it's easier than to trace the cost of the wood to the table. So that's a direct cost. It can easily be traced to the cost object. Another example would be our carpenter or handyman, John, who made the tables. Um, we pay him per hour, so if he worked two hours, we can multiply it by his hourly rate and then attach that cost to the cost object or the table. So that's a direct cost. Now, some costs are impossible to trace directly to the cost object. So the rental of our shed. We don't know exactly how much of the rental should be allocated or traced to each specific table. We don't know how much of the rental was necessary to make each individual table. And that's the same with the cleaning company. So there's a broom, so the cleaning company. We pay them a monthly fee to clean the shed each month, um, but we don't know exactly how much of that cleaning cost should be attributed to each of the tables. So those are indirect costs. But then some of the costs are somewhere in between. So an example of this might be the glue that we use to join the wood. So technically it's possible to measure the glue for each table. So we could say we measure it before we join the tables, but it's going to be such a big effort and it's going to take so much time and we might even waste some of the glue by doing that. So it's impractical or very difficult to trace the cost of the glue to the tables. So in that case, we'll classify it as an indirect cost. That's the same with the nails. We could actually go and count the nails, but sometimes we might bend one or one is already bent or whatever and we have to use another one. So it's not exactly the same for each table, but we could actually go and count it each time. But the benefit of the, the accuracy of the cost is not going to be um, outweighing the cost or the effort that we put in. So in that case, we'll also classify it as an indirect cost. So then an indirect cost is also known as an overhead cost. So anything that cannot directly be traced to the cost object is called an overhead. Mm -hmm.